Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over all of the diagnostic equipment that I keep in my van for everyday use. Okay, so first things first is a good scan tool. This is a Autel MS908S Pro. Uh, I bought this for almost $2,000. It came with the camera too, but I have another bore scope so I don't use it. But need a good scan tool. Then I have Mitchell. Uh, I use Mitchell here. Uh, I use it for wiring diagrams, faults, searching faults, you know, uh, repair tips, things like that. But uh, the wiring diagram is a game changer on this. I love the Mitchell wiring diagram more than uh, Old Data and some of the other ones. I gotta say though, the Mitchell wiring diagrams compared to the Mercedes ones I was using, maybe it's because I was used to the Mercedes wiring diagrams, it's nowhere close. Uh, I found the Mercedes wiring diagrams, star wiring, to be very simple to understand and very simple to, to follow where all the wires go. Everything was in one page instead of having to scroll through uh, different pages to, to get to from the start to the beginning, to get to from start to finish. So moving along, when I bought the Hotel scanner, it came with all of these adapters, which I have never used. But I guess it's better to have them. And it also came with this camera that you can hook up and uh, make the scan tool a bore scope also. This wire right here, it's to connect the scan tool with the VCI, uh, the thing that you plug into the car. If you had to flash it or something like that, you use this. And we've got a couple other adapters here. If you're doing uh, flashing and stuff like that, it's handy. This is for power, ethernet and stuff like that, you need it. And I'll quickly go over these other adapters here also. Like I said, I have not used these ever. This is like a cigarette uh, light adapter, I believe. Another one here to charge it. I guess this is nice when driving, but I do have a power inverter in the van, so I don't really use a cigarette lighter a lot. Short Ethernet cable, also. That's it as far as this box. All right, moving along with what we have. I have test leads here. These are to splice into wires. I just hook the banana plugs in there. The meter. Got the voltmeter here. I've had this thing for many, many years. Over five years probably. I uh, got some uh, back probes. Some back probes here. Some kind of like extension wires that you could just clamp. Usually I use these for grounds. So I just hooked, it, hooked this up to a ground and use this one uh, for the meter. And then move these out of the way. Right here, I keep these. These are lights that have been like that for a while. But I keep wires here. I have to use a wire to, to solder into another one. Got a bunch of relays, lights, uh, got some fuses here that I keep in case I ever need for testing purposes. Electric cleaner, some these to wrap wires, a bunch of very small zip ties, but nothing very important here. These are all, well, I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's tape. Okay, moving along, I'll start with these. Um, this is for electrical pins if I have to detach them from the connector. Uh, I do need to buy a bigger kit. This one is very small. Um, I worked at the dealer and at the dealer we had everything from them. Uh, it was like a master kit for all the Mercedes pins. So I kind of bought this 
while I was there, didn't really use it much, I only used it a handful of times. Um, I only started being full-time mobile about two months ago, so I do need to buy a bigger kit for all of the Asian cars and things like that because this doesn't cover much. All right, next up, I'll, uh, I guess I'll show you this first. This one's everything. Got some clamps, alligator clamps, positive and negative. These are also the back probe. Got some resistors here. 5,000 ohm resistor there. And there's another one here. Yeah, this is the same thing with this. Sisters, got these. Yeah, pretty, pretty good kit for what it is. I don't use half of these stuff like this. I don't know when I'll ever see a round pin like that. But I do use these other ones, and they have come in handy. Pretty nice kit. It wasn't very much. I think it was about a, a hundred bucks, a hundred twenty bucks. But so that's that as far as this. Has some lights too. Got a few testing positive and negative on something. It will light up here. And last but not least. This is, I keep the power probe here, and also these, I still have not used this. This is for finding parasitic draw. Um, it's nice because you can, I've used it to, to test, you know, to test the tool out, but I have not actually had to use this to find a parasitic draw. Uh, but this is, you put over the fuse, you tell it what type of fuse it is, whether it's a maxi, like a big fuse, standard, regular fuse, or a mini fuse. Uh, and then you type what type of fuse, like uh, the amperage of the fuse. And it will, it's pretty much, it reads voltage and it calculates it into amps. You can do the same thing with the voltmeter and go online and find the conversion for it. But this just converts it for you. It was about 90 bucks, I think I bought it for. And I have a power probe meter. Uh, if you've never used a power probe, very handy tool. But you got to be careful with uh, what you power up with it. And I got some Mercedes Benz um, can block. We used to plug this into the can block instead of uh, going positive and negative. You just plug this in, hook up the meter into it. And you start unplugging things one by one and seeing what's bringing the can block down or the can bus down. And that's about it that I have as far as electrical stuff. You know, I have uh, smoke machines and things like that. And I'm gonna, I have, I'm gonna leave everything up in in that box, in that tool bag. Uh, so whenever I have issues that I need to bring the meter out, all these stuff, they're all in the bag. They're all accessible very easily instead of having to grab everything one by one so that is it as far as diagnostic tools that i keep in in the van at all times if you like this content leave a like if you didn't like it leave a dislike and let me know in the comments why so i can try and improve as i'm pretty new to this so thank you guys for watching have a good one